Hi everyone, today we're gonna be talking about style hacks and how to look stylish and chic in a cold freezing winter. I tried and tested a lot of tips over the years, so here are the absolute best that I still use to make sure that I stay chic and warm every single winter. Now let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna be talking about today is thermal basics because this is really the must if you wanna look stylish and warm in the winter. The first thing that I suggest that you add to your wardrobe if you haven't already is a pair of wool tights. Basically, this will provide you a lot of warmth, especially if you love wearing jeans during winter or pants or even leggings. You can layer this wool tights under your jeans, especially if you have any pairs that are maybe slightly too big. This is a great hack to use. You will have that warmth without the bulkiness, without having to wear extra layers on top. So this is really my number one tip. I added this four years ago and I'm never going back because if I know that I'm gonna be outside all day, I just always wear this. It's just a no-brainer. Then I suggest you just repeat the same thing with your tops. Here I have two basic tops that I always wear during winter. One is black with straps and one is nude. And I really love this design because as you can see, it has wider straps, which means it's kind of that seamless design. So if I wear it under jumpers and because it's a nude color, it almost feels like you're not wearing anything underneath, but it gives you that extra warmth but if you don't like wearing camis like this you can also get a bodysuit they have great bodysuits again in nude and in black but these are really great basics to have i even use them in the fall and in the spring sometimes because it's that transition season so i can wear them under button-up shirts and anything like that and then the third basic we have to talk about are socks do you have a really really good thermal socks if you're going out for a really long time and if you wear a lot of high boots then i also suggest you get a pair of really high uh, socks so you get that extra layer of warmth. Let's say you have wool tights and then you have jeans and then you put the socks over that and you put over the knee boots on, you're really warm. So if you wear a lot of high knee boots, then I suggest that getting a pair like this would be a really great idea. Now the second thing, really important thing to talk about are winter jackets because they can break or make your look. Usually what I find is that a lot of winter jackets, they are a bit oversized and a bit bulky and a bit shapeless. So if you have any jackets like that at home right now, then I suggest that you really belt them in. I suggest that you experiment with belts that you have at home, with jackets that you have at home. Try to kind of experiment to provide that little bit of a cinch waist, a bit of a defined waist, because that will transform your jacket from shapeless and not flattering to a flatter and chic version but if you need a new jacket or maybe it's time that you upgrade your jacket then I have a few tips on how to get the perfect winter jacket so the first tip is to obviously look for jackets that are really comfortable and that you can move your arms easily every time I'm in store I'm moving my hands up and I'm pretending that I'm driving and <laughs> I'm doing all sorts of things almost cartwheels <laughs> not but almost <laughs> basically when you're in store comfort should be a priority and if you're shopping but you're not wearing anything thick underneath like you would in winter then look around the store and find some heavy knitwear something that represents what you would actually wear in winter so you really get an idea of how it looks on you then the second thing is what I mentioned earlier is to look for either that it's waist defined jacket or a jacket with a belt because that will really transform your jackets you will look more stylish and more elegant and more chic and it's just gonna be overall more flattering to have a belt jacket than just the one that doesn't have a belt also I don't know if you can see but all of my jackets are really long and there is a good reason for that because they provide you a lot more warmth before I got these jackets I actually only wore bulky puffer coats they ended around my hips and they weren't really warm nor were they stylish they didn't look nice at all but since I upgraded to longer coats I can really see a difference in how I look it's much much more stylish and also in how I feel it's much warmer so if you can go for a really longer coat also my advice to you you have to find colors that are really really versatile so before you go out and buy something really look at your closet look what colors you're gonna get the most use out of also a really important tip is to avoid trendy pieces or really noticeable in your face hardware because they're not as versatile coats that have a lot of hardware a lot of rings around the belt and this i don't know so many different things they're not as versatile this one has like a champagne gold zippers so it's not too bad i can still wear it with silver items i don't mind it because i'm usually a bit picky about those things so this is really nice but on the black one you can see 
everything is black all my hardware is black so it's really versatile and again on this coat <laughs> absolutely no hardware and this is really an important tip to get the most out of your coats avoid trendy pieces also trendy designs and stuff like that watch out for that if it's not your style then better option is to go for really classic versions because they're gonna last you for a really long time and now the next tip when it comes to the winter jackets is to really look for jackets that have some kind of a hood preferably removable for everyday wear this is just the best because if it's raining if it's snowing and you're outside you don't have an umbrella with you this is just so useful so practical now the third thing we're gonna talk about are shoes because they're really important during the winter and I have really good hacks for you and the first one is if you're not spending a lot of time outside you're not walking in snow or in rain all the time in that case you don't really need to invest in really good rain boots or snow boots what you can do instead is actually have some kind of a water repellent this is the one that I used it's liquid proof I've been using it for six years now and it's really really good because I have my Ugg boots that I absolutely love and I wear all the time. I actually, the last time that I sprayed this Ugg boots was three years ago, so a really long time. This spray is so cool because you make that water repellent layer, so if you put it under the water, you can see the little raindrops, how they slide off the shoe. So I really love this spray. That's how I can wear my Uggs very, very often, even if it's snowing, even if it's raining. But it's true that if I'm walking outside for a really long time, they're not my choice because they're still not as waterproof as I would like them to be. Then another thing you can do is to actually, again, if you're not walking um, around outside all day, is to have a leather over the knee boots. Like I have this pair, I bought them I think two years ago and they're just the best shoes that I ever bought in terms of winter because they are leather and the water, it doesn't go through. I can even wear them when it's snowing because they're flat, you know, they're not, I'm not sliding anywhere. They look so stylish and for me, they just elevate any outfit and because they are so high, they again provide an extra layer of warmth, especially if you wear them with high socks, like I showed you before. Then you really have a lot of different layers and you have a lot of warmth. As you can see, again, I don't have any noticeable hardware here and I just have everything black because I wear a lot of black during the winter. But if you are spending a lot of time outside and it's really snowing where you live, then I suggest that you invest in a pair of snow boots. So these are really good pair because they're waterproof really waterproof that nothing gets in no noticeable hardware here again <laughs> very versatile nice color so if you're looking to get snow boots I would look for a monochrome color that it's really versatile go for a shape that it's not it's bulky and another tip is to invest a little bit more because <laughs> you want them to be really waterproof to be really good quality now we're gonna talk about accessories because they're really so important when it comes to winter dressing. And the first thing, you know, we're gonna talk about our gloves. What kind of gloves you wear, <laughs> they can make a huge difference in terms of style. As you can see, having like winter gloves like this, they're really stylish. It's really fuzzy on the inside, so they're really warm. So you can find a really warm leather gloves if you want to, because if we compare them to just a normal pair, Oh, this needs the bubbling, so ignore that. But if you compare them, you can see this looks so much more stylish than this pair. I would just suggest that you have some kind of a stylish pair in your collection. So you can go for a leather look, but if that doesn't suit you, then you can also go for a suede look like this one. I think this look also a lot more stylish than just normal gloves. These are actually really good because they are waterproof, so I can shovel the snow with them, I can clean the car, there is no water coming through, so they're absolutely waterproof. So going for a leather, faux leather look or a suede look, it's in my opinion a better option than just normal cotton gloves. Also, another great option is our really nicely designed cashmere gloves. They have a nice intricate design or anything like that. So this is just my advice to you is to find nice fashionable gloves. Now let's talk about hats. <laughs> I really, really don't like <laughs> winter hats the, with a palm, the normal hats. I actually don't own any, not anymore. I declutter them and they're just annoying to wear because they always ride up for me. No matter which style I get, they're just annoying. So what I have instead, the first thing is this wool little hat, which it's really a great tip. If you want to look more stylish during winter, have some kind of hat in your collection. I just love this one. I wear it during the fall and the spring as well. So having a nice stylish hat in your winter collection, it's really important to elevate your look. And because I have hoods 
that are removable. You know, if I wear something like this, I can remove the hood so I have that more elegant, stylish feeling. And the second thing that I have to keep me warm <laughs> in my head area are these earmuffs because like I told you I have two hoods so I don't really have the need to cover my entire head but just my ears those are you know the annoying spot so I have my earmuffs on um, I can put the hood over it so I get that extra warmth and these are enough for me to wear they're also easy to store I just put them in my pocket and that's it I absolutely love this I feel much cuter and they're not riding up they stay in place so this is just the two more stylish options that I have also a great options is a beret or anything stylish a stylish version of a hat so this is everything in terms of hats now the the most enjoyable fun part for me at least for me are scars this is where I really suggest you can go as insane as you want you can express your style your personality everything scars are the way to go even though <laughs> I'm a minimalist, I have eight different scarves and I don't care because I love them, I wear them all the time. So scars are really where I express myself and that's why I can get away with such basic coats without heavy metals or without trendy pieces and even the shoes, they can be really basic, really classic because it's much easier to change scars than it, it is to change and buy and maintain a big jacket collection or shoe collection. So this is just my advice to you. And there are absolutely no rules when it comes to scarves. Express your personality. Now, the next thing I want to talk about when it comes to accessories or handbags, I have two most used winter handbags with me right here. I can wear it with absolutely everything. It's so versatile and you know, in terms of bags, you can really express yourself through your handbags as well. Having like shiny leather handbag that it matches with the boots and it's a perfect contrast with the jacket. This is an advice that I would give you. If you wear a lot of black during the winter, if you just have everything black, but you don't have the different materials, it doesn't look as stylish, but if you have a jacket with this kind of sleeves and then you put this, it's a contrast. If you have like a furry thing, again, it's a contrast. So your handbag stands out against your darker coats. And now <laughs> I have to talk about dresses and skirts because yes, you can still wear those during the winter. I'm wearing a cashmere sweater dress today. I don't know if you can see. I absolutely love wearing dresses during the winter because they just elevate your look. It's You feel so much better. You look so much better. But obviously we want to stay warm. So yeah, let me share a hack that I have. And this is something that I learned, I don't know, six years ago I don't really know but it's to layer your tights and this is a game changer it's basically have a nude seven denier tights as your base layer so you put them on and you're obviously everything is still nude so then what you can do you can take it a step further and you layer it with black sheer tights these are 30 denier and you get that look of just wearing one pair of tights even though you're wearing two so it's really warm and it's just the best trick when it comes to the winter season so you can still get away with wearing dresses using this trick i also know <laughs> that they have nude leggings out there basically they're fleecy on the inside they're meant to kind of be worn underneath black sheer tights also another thing is to wear really opaque tights these are 300 denier <laughs> So when I put them on, you basically don't see anything. They're just leggings in a tight form. So you can still wear a lot of dresses and skirts because I think that's something that people think, oh, it's cold, I cannot wear dresses. And it's so not true. You just have to think and find uh, some creative solutions. Again, cashmere or heavy knit, it's very good to have. This one is a really heavy knit wear jumper dress and it's so warm, I call it my wearable blanket. <laughs> so I can still wear a dress that it's really warm if I just look at the right materials. Even with skirts, I have this favorite winter skirt. It's a wool skirt, so it's very, very warm. So think about the materials when it comes to dresses and also use this hack with tights so you can layer them and yeah, you're gonna look much, much more stylish. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know in the comments down below and give this a thumbs up. This is it for today and see you next time.